Now here, if we want to plot, we want to plot load versus displacement graph. In that case, if you have to have a request in Abacus, so that if you want to plot load versus displacement graph, in that case, you have to ask Abacus to store the data for you. Okay. So here, basically, what we are doing, what is our interest? Our interest is to plot load versus displacement. Okay. So now, load versus displacement, you, you can see that we are applying, we are applying the loading, we are applying the load at this end, we are applying the load at this end. Okay. But Abacus cannot directly take the load and plot it as a load versus displacement graph. So what you have to do, you have to ask Abacus to we ask Abacus to get the forces, okay, applied forces. So how we can do that? We can get the same forces as a reaction force. What we can do? We can select this node. We can select all the node, okay, and you can take the summation of all the reaction forces acting in this node, okay, and that must be same as your loading case, okay. So at each steps, whatever the load you are applying, okay, whatever the load you are applying. That load must reflect as a boundary. And if you take that load carried by the all the nodes, if you take the sum of the all the node, okay, sum of the load carried by all the nodes, you can get the total load. So this is the way we can basically measure the force in terms of reaction and displacement we can get from the request on our desired node. Because here what we'll do, we'll try to find that our we'll try to find our load versus displacement so what we'll do we'll go for our we'll go for our uh, what we'll do we'll basically ask abacus to get the displacement and also get the reaction for us okay so how to do for that case we have to create a node set and then we have to ask abacus to do that part for us so here what we'll do, we'll go to the assembly and then you we'll go to the set and then we'll create a set and we'll create a node set for here. Basically a node set, basically here we just define the node set as a as a displacement, okay? Displacement or you can write end displacement. You can write as end displacement, okay? End displacement. And we can choose this node. We can choose this node and and one one more node set will create one more node set will create that is your that is your for the boundary so here we will create boundary set boundary conditions set boundary condition set okay now what we'll do is select all the node using your mouse and define it so here you can see a at the bottom is written a set the name is your end displacement is created at Considering node one, only one node, and boundary condition set we have created considering five node that is there at the end. Okay. Now what we'll do? We'll go to the steps, and in the steps we'll basically go to history output, and we'll ask for that displacement. So here you can see, here you can see with the domain. So domain is here by default is whole model, but we need for particular set. So what we'll do? We'll go for set here, and then we'll see which displacement we are asking. We'll go for end displacement and here basically we need the displacement along u3 so i ask for u3 so here you can see it is saying u3 okay now again i'll go to history output and then i'll go to the set and then here we will find no boundary set here we'll find boundary set and we'll ask for the reaction force here reaction force you can see rf is there we'll go for your rf3 Okay, so here also you can see it is RF3 it is there. Now what we'll do, we'll run the program. We'll run the program. Okay, and we'll see how we can find the load versus displacement graph. Completed. Now, if you want to plot load versus displacement graph, then you have to go on the Create XY data. So in the visualization mode, in the visualization mode, here you can see it is visualization mode. 
you have to go to your get xy data then here you have to go to your odb history output because we have requested in the history output in the steps in the history output options we have requested it so we can get it on the history output data here you can see we have lot of data okay so here you can see we have asked the displacement for your u3 displacement for node n node or n displacement okay we have this we have asked the abacus to find the displacement for us for this n displacement node set so we'll save this one we'll save this as a displacement okay and we are saving it as as it is okay so we can okay now again we'll try to find reaction force for this so here we have requested reaction force here you can see for five node they have calculated the reaction force and now what we do we have to take the sum of it take the sum of it so here we can select this sum and we can give you as a reaction force and can save it now we can dismiss it now again you have to go to this one now you have to click on operate xy data so first we have saved the data from the history output and now we'll go to our operate on xy data and here you can see you have a lot of options there i'm scrolling it here there is a lot of options here what we'll do we'll take the combine option here you can see combine option we'll take once okay we'll take once combine and then we'll select displacement again we'll click one more time to the reaction force now we can plot it now we can plot it now here you see the plot force is gradually increasing from 0 to 200 400 600 800 and 1000 newton force but displacement here you can see it is in negative way minus 2.5 minus 2 minus 1.5 minus 1 like that so what we can do we can change this value by multiplying with minus 1 so what i did i just give minus 1 i just give minus 1 here okay and i just plot it here you can see now you can plot force versus displacement okay here you can see initially our you can see our displacement plot was with respect to displacement plot was respect to with respect to time you can see if you go to the history output here go to the history output here you can see if we plot it you can see a displacement it was with respect to time similarly force also was with respect to time so what we did we combine both force and the displacement okay and we get that displacement here we get the displacement here okay we get the displacement as a your force versus displacement graph force versus displacement graph okay so here basically in our part xy data what we did we basically get combine basically combine minus displacement minus displacement and then rf and we plot it so here we have basically obtaining force versus displacement graph now we can save it we can save it here as a load displacement graph now this data it will save temporarily in your abacus model okay if you close this model if you exit from the abacus it will not be saved okay it will remove all the data all the post processing data so what you can do you want to plot it you can go to your file and you can take the printout of it so here is these options here print color option is there black and gray scale is there okay you can select this as a file and you can use it your 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 tif option and you can give some name something like that and you can see it is creating a file it is it has created a file in the c temp cc c temp cc c temp go to c temp go to c and then you temp and then you can try to find c c c yes this one this you can basically see from there also okay so this is the way basically you have to obtain your your load versus displacement graph and you can set this data